So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you install Composer. So Composer is like a package manager for PHP. So I'm using Windows. So uh, from Composer.org, get Composer. I'll choose to download. So let me go to Composer.org. And then I for Windows, okay, I'll be downloading Composer. So I'll choose download. Now I already have Composer installed, but you can come here. There is a setup. Okay. So you choose to click on the Composer setup and the file will be able to download. Um, okay. Then you start downloading. After installing Composer from the Composer EXE, in case you install Composer and it gives you issues, uh, especially with the deep missing libraries from Windows, this is what you have to do. You have to run the Windows all in one. There's Windows all in one uh, runtime libraries. So you can look for them. Here is all in one runtime libraries. Then you download the latest of the runtime. And then you install. Okay, it will give you an order on how to install the packages. Okay, then you install for Windows and then you try installing Composer again. Uh, one of uh, the package editors that I trust, of course, is um, Notepad++. I'll be using Notepad++ for my default. Okay, so you can go ahead and download Notepad++, but I also use Visual Studio Code. So Visual Studio Code. Okay, so in <laughs> I'll, I'll be switching, but I'll be using Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code for the most of the time. But I am a member of uh, Notepad++. Plus Plus. I, I like it uh, to be light, but uh, you'll find that Visual Studio Code has some plugins that come with it. And then with that, so if after installing Composer, you can come and install our Laravel package. So I'm going to go to my WW folder. Uh, okay, let me bring it on screen. Uh, at this time, I guess you've installed Composer. I'll go to my WAMP 64 and then choose WW ww okay so right here i'm going to right click and get the terminal if you don't do that then you can press shift right click if you're using um uh, git bash okay all in all it will work all right then uh here is the laravel okay uh document uh, guiding us through the installation Okay, and uh, when I click on getting started, I can choose installation. And under the installation, I'm going to look for the side of Composer. However, you can uh, decide to install, uh, those of you who are using TMD and whatsoever, uh, those of you with Mac and Linux, so you have uh, uh, the way of using your terminal. All right, so I'm going to right click and choose to call this. I'm going to call it um, maybe UG stock for Uganda, but remember it's the file management. So UG stock for Uganda. Okay. So remember it's a letter of L10. I'll press enter. And then it's going to take us through the installation process and then it will bring back the WW when the installation is done. Welcome back, and the installation is done. And I want to just uh, brief you on what, what has happened. So using Composer, the package we've just installed, we've instructed Composer to create us a project, which project is a Laravel project, and the Laravel version is version 10, and then the name of the project, for example, uh, example app. And in this case, our project is called UG Stock.